Introduction to Manures, Fertilizers and Soil Fertility Management At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define and Describe Manure Define and Describe Fertilizers and Explain Soil Fertility Management Agriculture is one of the major professions for many people all over the world. We human beings solely depend on agriculture to satisfy all our daily food needs and to sustain life on earth. It is one of the reasons why we have the liberty of choosing so many food types and flavors. Are you aware of the several factors that are involved in agriculture which provides us with disease-free and nutritious food? It is a fact that a plant species requires around 18 essential elements for its growth. Out of the 18 elements, only 3 elements that are obtained from sunlight, air and water are readily available to the plants. Then what about the remaining 15? Have any idea? Yes, the plants entirely depend on the soil for the remaining 15 elements that are minerals. Every soil type should possess the potential and the capacity to continuously provide all these essential nutrients that are required for proper plant growth. But continuous exploitation of the soil through round-the-year cultivation of a single crop or intercultural operations wears out the soil as well as it has the tendency to reduce the nutrient content present in the soil. Hence. It is necessary that every farmer should keep the soil rich in nutrients and minerals by applying appropriate manures and fertilizers for sustainable agriculture. Thus, manures and fertilizers have become an essential entity of modern day agriculture in maintaining soil fertility. Now let us discuss about manures, fertilizers and soil fertility management. Manures. Manures are generally denoted as the materials that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without the addition of any other chemical components. Thus, manures are said to be of organic nature. They provide various nutrients to the plants. In addition, manures also contribute in improving the physical, chemical and biological properties of the soil. Manures can be categorized into two types based upon the concentration of the plant nutrients that it provides. They are bulky organic manures and concentrated organic manures. Bulky organic manures contain minimal amounts of nutrients and hence are required in larger quantities. Some of the examples are farmyard manures, green manures, vermicompost and sludge. Concentrated organic manures have high amounts of plant nutrients compared to the bulky organic manures. So the requirement is very minimal. Some of the examples are oil cake, meat meal etc. Importance of organic manures. Organic manures are easily available in all climatic conditions. Organic manures do not need any additional components to react with the soil. Animal manure, which is one of the types of organic manures, can also be prepared from slurry that is easily available in agricultural lands. They can also be used as a fuel. An example is cow dung. Organic manures increase the fertility and maintain the longevity of soil fertility. Moreover, the traditional organic manure is challenging the modern day fertilizers. Fertilizers Fertilizers are materials that are said to be of natural or synthetic origin. They have a definite chemical composition and the ability of supplying more nutrients to soil than the manures. Basically, fertilizers are produced from inorganic compounds excluding urea and calcium cyanamide. Based upon the amount of nutrients, fertilizers are categorized into three types. They are straight fertilizers, complex fertilizers and mixed fertilizers. Straight fertilizers are made up of a single chemical compound, 
that acts as the primary nutrient. Complex fertilizers have more than one primary nutrient type, whereas mixed fertilizers are said to be a combination of both straight and complex fertilizers. Now, let us discuss about the differences between manures and fertilizers. It is very necessary to know the differences in order to apply them based upon the cultivation requirements. Some of the major differences between manures and fertilizers are manures are of natural origin whereas the fertilizers are of synthetic origin. Manures are economical whereas fertilizers are very costly. Organic manures contain all the essential nutrients whereas fertilizers contain only the specific nutrients. Even though manures have all the essential nutrients, it contains relatively less amount of plant nutrients, whereas fertilizers are rich in plant nutrients. Since manures are of natural origin, they do not cause harmful effects to living beings, while the fertilizers create health problems to living beings due to its synthetic origin. Both manures and fertilizers are essential for maintaining the soil fertility. Soil fertility Soil fertility can be defined as the ability of the soil to accept, store and transfer energy in order to support the growth of plants. Soil fertility management The study which deals with the management of physical, chemical and biological components of the soil to know its current nutrient status and the capacity to provide nutrients in order to increase the fertility of the soil is known as soil fertility management. Soil fertility management generally deals with the methods that are concerned with soil conservation, crop rotation and manure and fertilizer applications according to the requirements. Thus, soil fertility management has become a vital component in the growth of various crops around the world. Summary Well, that has been an interesting lesson about introduction to manures, fertilizers and soil fertility management. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far. Manures are generally denoted as the materials that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without the addition of any other chemical components. Fertilizers have a definite chemical composition and the ability of supplying more nutrients to soil than the manures. Soil fertility can be defined as the ability of the soil to accept, store and transfer energy in order to support the growth of plants.